Hey plant gang, today we want to learn how to know and identify this very common perennial plant called Monarda. Now there are a lot of species of Monarda and you're going to see a variety of hybrids as well, uh, but really we want to know and recognize Monarda when we see it. Uh, one thing that I'm cluing in right away on as I hold this one in my hand is the square stems uh, that's on this Monarda and how the foliage comes up uh, oppositely off of this stem, very long elliptical leaves uh, with really kind of tooth, kind of beefy tooth serrations. Uh, now this flower that we see of Monarda is very common uh, where you see the actual flowers coming from the center uh, sticking almost straight up in, in kind of a cascading waterfall off of the top of this plant, uh, which is very interesting uh, and very unique for perennial plants. Uh, this one that is in front of me actually got cut back earlier in the season and it is regrowing right now and so it's a little bit shorter than it would be. Uh, but Monardas, depending on the cultivar, have a variety of sizes and you can really find one that suits your landscape needs. So most Monardas we're going to go by the common name bee balm, bee balm. They're herbaceous perennials uh, and they range in nativity uh, from Canada to the United States is where most Monardas are from. Uh, just as a general statement, um, most Monardas are hardy from zones four through nine. Just as a general statement, a lot of Monardas get between two and four foot high and spread out two to three foot wide. But again, we're just trying to know Monarda when uh, we see it. When I see it growing in the wild, oftentimes I'll see it growing in quite shady situations, uh, but Monarda does thrive also in full sun. Monarda is susceptible to powdery mildew and so often full sun with good air circulation really makes this plant thrive uh, very well. Uh, the one that we're looking at here uh, has a nice red bloom, but there are different Monarda species with white, pink, uh, and kind of a variety of a different bloom colors. Uh, tolerates rabbit and deer. Clay soils uh, would be uh, listed as uh, things that this plant does tolerate. Loves to grow in rich, medium to wet moisture. Uh, in really, again, full sun is oftentimes best to prevent powdery mildew. Here's a landscape tip. This plant is a butterfly magnet for the front of the border.